Hi, today I'm going to be talking about chasing payment as part of good credit control. Your business has provided the goods and the services. There isn't a dispute over delivery times or the quality. The payment terms and conditions were agreed and they were signed, but there is still no payment from your customers. You've sent the emails and made the calls, the monthly statements have gone out showing the outstanding debt, you've heard the excuses and you've sent, resent those copy invoices, but still there is no payment. Now at this point, your business is under threat. You've already spent or committed your resources on goods and services. I'm Tinnery Parker of Nosy Parkers. In my last video, I talked about how vitally important cash flow is to your business. Remember, cash is king, and without good cash flow, your business will fail. So what are your next steps? Well, I would always recommend talking to your customer's business owner or finance director. They could be experiencing some short-term problems. Now, sometimes you can come to a mutually acceptable agreement without taking further action, especially important if it's a valued customer. You could try offering payment plans, breaking down the debt into smaller chunks over a few months. Of course, you do need to look after your own cash flow and business interests. And if that doesn't work, issue a credit control letter. A credit control letter tells the customer that you are taking the debt seriously and are prepared to pursue it. The customer is more likely to pay you first ahead of any other suppliers that they owe money to. There are plenty of examples of good credit control letters on the internet. There's also advice on when to send them. Now I recommend uh, a website called crunch.co.uk. Protect your financial interests. You have every right to charge your customer interest on late payment and claim for any debt recovery costs. The rate of interest you can charge is set by the Bank of England base rate plus a set percentage. I advise my clients to use Pay On Times website, which gives up-to-date information on what your business can claim. If your customer still refuses to settle the bill following phone and email chasing statements, letters and charging extra, then you must put the account on stop. This is where you should send out a legal letter which threatens legal action. Now, most businesses would have already settled by now, but the threat of legal action by your solicitor will usually result in payment. A threat of being taken to the small claims court will usually lead to payment. Businesses don't want any county court judgments, which will impact on their business's ability to secure finance and also impact on their reputation. For further details, search on the government website for making a court claim. This is where a good credit control system gives you the records and the proof that you'll need as part of court action. Now for some final words of advice. Of course, by making the initial credit checks, ensuring that you have terms and conditions and following up quickly on late payment, it's less likely that you'll need to take this action. Legal action is costly and it takes a lot of time and energy. And always keep your frustration off of social media. Remain professional in front of your other customers, as well as your staff and your suppliers. Our contact details are at the top of the screen. Please get in touch if you'd benefit from advice on setting up a credit control system or the training of your staff. The first two hour consultation is free. I'm Tunary Parker of Nosy Parkers. Thank you for watching.